Hey guys, Julie here, and I have Ms. Honey. She is a mini Bernadoodle, and we are working on her heel command. So she just learned this. She is a newbie, total newbie. She's not been doing this for long, and she's with a new person. So Gabby's done all the work um, leading up to this, and then I just took her out. So we've got our e-collar. I've got the leash tethered to my waist. So basically, the concept behind teaching a dog heel is that anytime they move outside of the strike zone, is what I like to call it, that sweet spot right next to and slightly behind your left leg, you turn on pressure and guide them to that spot if needed and then release the pressure. But she's doing really, really well. As long as she stays in that perfect spot next to and slightly behind my left leg, this never turns on. <laughs> She's learning. Yeah. So right there, she got slightly distracted by some neighbors, started to lag behind. I took that opportunity to tap my tone. I tell all my clients, if your dog is lagging behind on the heel, it's a good opportunity to tap that tone button because it will always bring them closer to your leg. dogs to slightly stay behind us because they need to be able to see our left leg. If they can't see our left leg, then how do they know where we're going? Good girl. We're almost to the end of the sidewalk where I'm going to do a turn. Um, turns are good engagement moves. If your dog doesn't turn nicely with you, it's a good opportunity to tap the collar. Okay, so we're going to turn. And there she is. So she's going a little bit ahead of me now, so you can watch as I tap, tap, tap my collar and move her back into position. Good girl. So now that she has the knowledge on how to find that heel position, she just needs reps and more practice doing it. So daily walks. Um, training walks where we do five, 10 minutes and work up to a duration heel where she has to hold that spot for a long period of time, even with distractions. But considering that's a click right there, it's only day, what, seven, eight? She's doing pretty well with her walk. Um, and the walk is one of her owner's major goals. Nice day, huh? Yeah. Beautiful day. So you should be able to walk your dog without them pulling you down the street. I've been telling people, hook the leash to your waist. That way you can walk hands free while also having a safety net and having a hand to use your e-collar. So Honey's doing amazing. What a good girl. With her heel, um, we'll transition this to off leash very soon, although it pretty much is off leash. Um, we're not using the leash for guidance anymore. but. I'm very happy with her progress, and I know her owner will be too. What a good girl. Beautiful job. Let's see. We're almost to the house. Let's see if when I stop, she will sit and stay on command. Let's see what she does. Okay, we're at the house. <clears throat> What a good girl. Oh my gosh. Stay. No. Stay. Pretty common mistake. When I say N-O, I tap the collar. She goes back to her stay. Good girl. 